I want to give you an overview of the Brother Quilt Club BQ1350 PRW. This is a feature-rich machine with premium features for quilting and sewing and crafting. It has 290 built-in stitches, quilting stitches, utility stitches, stretch stitches, decorative and monograms at your fingertips. This machine comes with many extra accessories that are optional with other models. Uh, one of these accessories is a, a large thread stand that attaches on the top of the machine easily and this is uh, suitable for your large quilt spools as well as embroidery thread spools and it gives you a better thread delivery allowing the thread to untwist before it goes into, into the machine. And this actually is a, a great way to work with metallic and difficult threads. This special edition machine also comes with many extra accessories that you would purchase with other machines. Uh, and what this offers is your quilting uh, accessories. This is your walking foot, which gives you even beading on the top of the fabric as well as the bottom. Uh, this single needle plate gives you a, a better a straight stitch when used with piecing. Here's your quarter inch foot with a guide or for top stitching as your straight stitch foot. Uh, right here you have an open toe foot and that's great for applique and decorative sewing. You have three different variations of free motion quilting feet. Uh, one that has echo uh, guides on it for doing quarter inch echoing of your quilting, a trapunto foot for really precise quilting, as well as a hopping foot, which gives you better on a higher loft batting, as well as a really nice seam guide foot that gives you uh, uh, markings for all types of seam allowances. Again, these come with this machine. On other models, you have to buy them extra. This machine has a large sewing bed, a large opening for fitting bulky and quilted fabrics. Uh, it also has an attachment tray that stores all your different accessories, uh, which it does come with a lot of different accessories uh, besides what's shown here. Uh, and also this uh, a large extension table. Now this extension table has sturdy legs that are attached for they, they, uh, retract for easy storage and has a storage for the knee lift. And the knee lift attaches to the machine and this gives you the ability to raise and lower the foot electronically uh, for, so you have your hands uh, still on the fabric when you want to pivot. Uh, also, the, the table attaches very easily. This gives you a large sewing surface and a great uh, handling of the fabric. This machine is one of the easiest machines to thread. Everything is clearly marked with numbers that correspond to the instruction manual, but also uh, they made it so you can't thread it incorrectly by these paths. And at, in fact, what it does, it makes it so that it blocks it from being threaded if your foot is not all the way up or your needle is not in the high position which I'm going to do right now. Brother is known for their ease of threading the needle with their exclusive hands-free needle threader. You simply place it in this guide, right, like so, and pull a lever, and the needle's threaded as easy as that. This machine has a full rotary bobbin system that is held in place by a magnet. That, combined with the quick set of bobbin insertion, makes it so it does not jam like a traditional machine. It also does not require lubrication, so it can sew for long periods of time, then you can set it away, and even after months, you bring it back out, and it will not require any lubrication, like your older machines require. The feed system is extra long, and it also has seven different contact points, and it also works completely square to the fabric, giving a better contact, actually 20% more contact than other machines. The presser foot is also longer than a typical machine, and this gives additional fabric support, plus it also helps right in the front so that when you're piecing or sewing right on the edge of the fabric, it grabs the fabric uh, with greater precision. The Brother BQ1350 is equipped with an automatic fabric sensor system. Uh, this, when activated, I'll go ahead and turn it on, now will uh, automatically sense the thickness of the fabric, not just in the beginning, but ongoing, uh, for example, when I uh, sew a denim seam, uh, it will sense that thickness and climb over the denim seam. This combined with its automatic tension gives you superior fabric control and stitch forming over most any machine in its class. Denim seam is very difficult to sew, but not with the automatic fabric sensor system. Let me show you how easy this is to do.
First I select the utility category and then select pattern number 19. As you see, everything is pre-programmed for me, the width, the length. I, I can even have it where it automatically ties off at the beginning and the end and cuts the thread when I'm finished. I have two pieces of a heavyweight denim here and I'm gonna create the seam using that overlock stitch. I go ahead and start sewing, and I'm not using the foot pedal as a tie off. It has a uh, start sewing feature without a foot pedal, and I can adjust my speed. You saw that it automatically tied off. Let's go a little faster. It has such a good fabric control. I'm barely even holding onto the fabric or guiding it. It's sewing off the edge of the fabric, uh, and then it's sewing uh, three points of strength. If I press the reverse button, it ties off at the last hole and cuts the thread automatically. So you see I have an overlock stitch here, and so it's the seam is sewn and finished. Come back here, fold back my flat belt seam, like so, and position it under the foot. And I'll lower the foot down. Now I'm going to select my triple stitch, which is good for top stitching, and it's on the uh, front of the bed of the, of the machine so that it's easily accessed. It's, uh, the most common 10 stitches that you ever use is right here. You can even pre-program your settings of each of those stitches. Now I'm going to sew the top stitch on the flat belt seam. I'll go ahead and start sewing. And one thing you'll notice, it's still set for tie-up because it remains at that setting until I take it off. So I sew down the end of the seam uh, and it's perfectly guiding right on the edge right there. By the way, I'm using a regular 80-12 needle, not a denim needle on this here. It doesn't require it uh, for this type of operation. I press my reverse and it ties off into the same hole and cuts off the thread. Now I have my top stitch. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but it went over itself. It went two forward and one back. So that's three layers of thread. So I'll turn this upside down here and I'll fold it. There's three layers of fabric, six, nine layers of denim. And the most difficult thing about this is climbing over that seam. We've all had that problem. We've broken needles on it because our machines can't sew over the, this. But this machine will with that automatic fabric sensor system. Here we go. We've got our seam. We've got, uh, we're starting from three layers. We're going up to nine layers. Let's go ahead and start sewing. I'm gonna do slow so you can see it in action. And that is tying off at a longer stitch. But actually, I'm not even gonna hold onto the fabric. Watch this here. It actually will climb up over. It's adjusting to the fabric right now. The, the precision of this feeding is amazing. I'm not holding the fabric. That's what's incredible. I'll go ahead and stop here. Now I'm going to take this very sheer Trico fabric, and this is so sheer and also has a stretch to it, it's very difficult to sew. But as you see, I still have the denim here. I'm just going to take this here, let's start sewing, and let it go right from there, and it's going to adjust automatically down to the sheer fabric. And uh, it's amazing. It's, I, I, I have perfect fabric control with this. Let's go ahead and stop. I'll swing this around. I want you to see this, how flat that lays. I did not adjust anything. The automatic fabric sensor system also works with fabrics such as a t-shirt knit. Now let's say we were gonna put a ripped collar on this t-shirt, which is so difficult to use. Now we have three layers of fabric, two different types of fabric. We'll take this here and we'll sew off the edge of the fabric with that overlock stitch. And we'll go ahead and start sewing. And see that's sewing the seam and finish the edge, but the fabric is pulling through beautifully uh, and it's sewing on this knit. I'm applying a little bit of a pull on the ribbing to get a curl, but the machine does this with ease. Can your machine do this at home? I know many machines that jam when they do this. This machine does it beautifully. I'll press the reverse and again it ties off and cuts the thread. You see here we have a, a perfectly sewn overlock seam. That's a flexible seam. It's finished the edge and it has the, the perfect curl that you want on a rib collar and it's a flexible seam. Now I'm going to sew with some lycra. Now lycra is difficult because it stretches in all directions and imagine sewing with elastic, sewing elastic on the edge of the fabric. Uh, that's very difficult because you need three hands to stretch the elastic and guide it at the same time. Now watch what I'll do with this here. I'm actually going to take this here and feed my elastic right into the foot. 
And it's because of that feed system, it gives me the control to take this lycra, this is slippery stuff here, uh, and I'm gonna put it here on the edge, and now we're going to sew it. This would be something you would do on a uh, on swimwear or anytime you wanna sew elastic here. To sew the elastic, I'm gonna select one of my most common stitches here. It's a zigzag that has three separate straight stitches in there. That's gonna give the right uh, elasticity to the stitch while I sew it. So let's go ahead and sew this here. So I'm a, I have the elastic in my hand here. This frees my other hand to guide, but I don't have to stretch from behind, which you typically would do. So I'm gonna start off sewing here. And I stretch on the elastic to the suiting. But you see, the thing is, the machine's doing beautifully. Even though I'm stretching on this elastic, it's sewing right on the edge, and that makes it so that I can guide it evenly. And this is something that machines that sell for three to four times the price of this machine can't do as well. It's all because that automatic fabric system and that elongated seven-point feed system gives me the control that I wouldn't have on another machine. So now you see here, the elastic is sewn on the edge, right perfectly on the edge. Look at that stretch. If I wanted to come back and encase it, I would just stretch it open, sew it back, and do a zigzag on here. This does better than most sergers. Another great feature on this machine is the fact that you can program the needle to end up or down, but also when the needle ends down, you can program the machine to automatically raise the foot when you stop. This is great for pivoting when you're turning corners, but also for applique. So let's do some blanket stitch applique, and I'm gonna use one of the included uh, open toe feet that comes with it. This has a clear marking for a use when you're doing applique. But let's go ahead and select the stitch. It's number uh, 34 in my uh, utility category, so I press 34. And everything's set for me. This is a nice, tiny uh, blanket stitch. Uh, we have many options of this here, but I like this small one right here. Again, I have the pivot feature selected, and you'll see uh, how that's gonna be wonderful as I turn the corner. So as you see here, I have a piece of fabric that has a curve on it, and it comes to a corner. So we're gonna go around the curve. I'm gonna simply start sewing, and it's gonna lower the foot automatically. And so you can see the clarity I have right on the edge here. Now sometimes, even when you're on a curve, you wanna stop and pivot. See the needle is down, the foot raised up so I can pivot. slow down get to the edge okay and then turn it as you see that gives me a blanket stitch actually this is such a tiny stitch it looks like it's hand done and so I'm going to show you one of the larger uh, blanket stitches so here's another blanket stitch and again, I'm using the pivot feature, and this is gonna give me a much larger bite. Uh, I can actually adjust it so it's thicker, but again, I wanna come up to the edge here. And now I can pivot. Very, very easy. So now you can see how nice that's done, right on the edge. Another exclusive feature on this machine is its true basting stitch. So I'm going to select the basting stitch as number eight. And this stitch actually is uh, elongated five to six, maybe ten times the typical stitch length. Uh, and let's go ahead and show you how this works. So how this works, if I start sewing, it takes a stitch and then it feeds without stitching. And this gives me a longer stitch than what I would typically. To give you an idea how long the stitch is, it's the size of a bobbin here. That one stitch is the size of a bobbin. Now this would be, be great for basting quilts or garments. Uh, no more do you have to hand baste or use pins. So this machine can sew in all different directions. It has a multi-directional feed system. And to show you that, I'm gonna select one of the directional stitches, number 96. And this is going to sew a zigzag to the left, not front, forward, or backwards, but to the left. I can do this with other stitches as well. Let me show you. Directional stitches are designed to sew sideways or different directions using a zigzag or a straight stitch. So the benefit of this here is, as you see here, it's sewing to the left 
And the benefit there is, let's say I couldn't turn my fabric, we're doing applique, we're doing patches, working on sleeves. This is something that is another exclusive feature on this machine. There are many directional stitches uh, and they actually end up looking like free motion quilting. They call it automatic free motion. And what I like about this is that uh, it gives you free motion and quilting patterns without having the skill that takes a lot of practice to do quilting. See how this is moving in a circular action? This is a wave stitch that is something uh, that I see a lot with long arm quilting. This is wide enough, it's up to, or actually this is uh, more than 60 millimeters wide, uh, and it'd be perfect for the sashing between the quilt blocks. Let me show you this up close. So look at this stitch here. The size of the stitch is amazing. Look at the size of my thumb there. That is quite large and it's a wave. And and the machine was doing that automatically. It was moving the fabric to create this pattern. I'll show you the echo foot right here, uh, which gives you a quarter inch marking from the needle, and it has a shovel effect so you can go over seams and all the way up to the edge of your quilt. Another built-in feature is the automatic free motion setting. That's for free motion quilting. So I'm gonna turn that on, and it has a free motion height that hovers above the fabric. And so you can override that. You can make it higher or lower, lower to your liking. But right now we're gonna leave it at uh, 0.5 millimeters just because that's just above the fabric. And let me show you how this works. So attach the foot to the machine, but also I have a speed regulator here. This sets the speed at a optimum sp setting for me. And that way I can focus more on moving the fabric and that gives me a more consistent stitch length. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower my foot and press go. And it's just hovered just at the right level above the fabric. So it flows consistently. And I'm using those markings to do concentric circles. So easy to work with this here. I'm not a quilter, but I have fun with machines. And this machine works flawlessly. She also has eight one-step buttonholes that automatically sizes based on the button that you have. Let me show you. So I simply take the button that I want to sew the buttonhole for, size it in this foot, and I'll attach it and the machine will automatically do a buttonhole based on this button. So I pr press the start button and it will repeat and make as many buttonholes as I want all the right size for that button automatically. Nothing could be easier than this. See this machine in person at one of five Moore's locations in Southern California.